everybody in just a minute. So it looks like everybody's got their, yep, everybody's running. You're supposed to ask these out loud? How, whatever you're comfortable with. If you want to focus on it, ask it out loud, whatever you want to do. There's no right or wrong way to like do it. Five, two. Five, two, and four, five. Yeah. Perfect. Four, two. So your average spike for this particular location is between 18 and 22. Nine. You gotta ask those questions. <laughs> it was um, which Eliza? Which Eliza? Are you? Are we? Eliza, how do we know which Eliza you are? There's only one unique Eliza. You're you. There's no one taking your uniqueness from you. Which one are you? Eliza, you're one true gem. Which Eliza are you talking to? Mm. Yeah. What else do we want to know about Eliza, though? Wait, Eliza, what was it like being married to Alexander Hamilton? Uh, do you know what smells good? <laughs> <laughs> Eliza, I'm thinking about I'm thinking about organizing a dinner. Would you like the vegetarian or the meat option? <laughs> Ask him what other questions you need to ask. That's my friend Katie. My Katie. Y'all. Mine popped up to 113. Like, while I was talking to him, Katie, he was like, Are you here? Katie. I Did love you, Katie. Up? Oh. Oh. What? Through. It just between. Through between.
What's the word? Freshman. Freshman, it's a college move-in weekend. That's something. Katie and Thomas. Freshman weekend. I was like, I don't know what to say. <laughs> like, I need to communicate. I need to communicate. I like her advice. What, what do you want to tell me? Is marriage a good idea? Do you regret it? Mary Thomas. <laughs> By God, I will love Thomas forever. Do you want to communicate? I just heard now. <laughs> For real. Okay. I don't like talking all the time either. It's okay. <laughs> Eliza, it's Jen wearing the prime dress that you wore in 1700. Eliza, which outfit looked better on Emily? Eliza, who's wearing the best outfit? Do you like my Magellans? <laughs> Eliza, who wore the best outfit? Who wore it best? over here. Eliza, cut the bullshit. Who wore it best? This is where, what? The, uh, the, the mansion here? What was the pink house? Or? Mm, pink thing. And that's what I want you to hear. So again, you might, whatever question you're asking, for example, what happened to the mansion, Eliza? And you say, you hear a newscaster say, there was a flood in California today. You don't know that I'm looking for the word flood. Right. That's why I withhold the information. Have you seen anything weird on your camera yet? No, not yet. No. Okay. Any words I need to know about? It's not yes. necessarily the word. Katie Thomas. Yeah. I don't have a Thomas. I didn't know no, that. there was a Thomas oh. earlier. Oh, no Thomas? No. Is somebody I see. here Thomas? I thought I heard a Thomas. 
it's not necessarily the words. It was which three? They came through. I think it was around the like, Katie though between. Like, they all came in at, like, once, and it vibrated, and it was, like, red. Yeah, it growls and does all kinds (laughs) of stupid shit. We don't need all that. I'm just, we just use it for the dictionary. Freshman was interesting. Freshman. Why is that one interesting? Because certain school. It just seems like a weird uh, term to throw into a ghost hunt, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. I mean, we do have a Kate that's here. (laughs) So, she may have brought somebody with her. So, if she starts to recognize any of those other terms on there, that might be something we ask her. I couldn't mm-hmm. remember all the questions I needed to ask. And the so yours pop, is simple. Which Eliza are we there. dealing with? Can you tell me your maiden name? Okay. And then how old were you when you got married? Old were you when you got married? Four, again, four. with your camera, Jody, it's all about like debunking in real time, which you're probably already doing. You're seeing like it's mm-hmm. picking up figures of cars and trees and everything else yeah, around you. Yeah, right, um, right. And again, I have played with the sensitivity level on that since I've gotten it. And it seems like it's at its most comfortable level because we have gotten interaction out of mm-hmm. it. And if I do see something in there or in real time and mm-hmm. you're like not sure what it is, that's when you start asking questions. If you're Eliza, can you raise your right hand mm-hmm. and see if the figure raises their right hand? That's the mm-hmm. kind of interaction we're looking for out of that guy. Wow. We've gotten it. Um, not often, but we have gotten it. So surprisingly, out of a damn app for an iPad, we've gotten interaction from an actual ghost on there. Wow. So pretty Very cool. Awesome. Um, so I don't see anything like that based on what you told me what my glance was that was super specific. Nothing to the questions we've been asking that I somebody's you heard the word walk. Um, I think you, you gave me two I terms. heard Georgia and first, first Corinthians. Corinthians. Yeah, so I wrote those down. Brittany, what are the last three or four terms from your device? Unless temperature, iron, cage, deep, deep. So iron cage. Look at that as a phrase. I don't know how it would be relevant. Is that why you were inside the Scotchman? Uh, your EMF in here is going to be a seven. So every ghost story that comes down here, like I said, is a staple. We all tell the same story. I'm just going to give it to you a little bit differently because you're ghost hunting. It's not a cheesy campfire marshmallow kind of ghost tour. So let's get into it. Um, by the way, thank you for meeting her. Oh. Um, she's like, oh, yeah, thanks. Yeah. Thanks for calling me out. Like a jerk. Um, um, Here's how this story goes. This used to be called Dueling Town. This is where some of the duels used to occur for the city of Charlotte. Uh, I say some, because dueling is illegal, and you had to find a hiding spot. It happened to be one of them. Here's how this piece goes. A doctor moves down here from Rhode Island. His name is Dr. Joseph Brown Ladd. Those of you with the red spirit boxes that are listening in, if you hear the song Brown Eyed Girl, it's not coincidence. It's part of his name, and we get it all the time. It plays every night at the <laughs> bar. <laughs> Okay. Just keep in mind, you got people walking, coming this way, so just be discreet with it. Oh, yeah, okay. Um, now, back to Dr. Glad. He moves down here because he's supposed to get married to his fiance, Amanda. Amanda just inherited a bunch of money from her dead parents. She's an attorney, helping out with cash, spirit boxes. So that's when I bought that Ouija board device that I had mentioned earlier to make sure we were getting the specific letters and I wasn't just mishearing something. Can't tell you how many times we've gotten the letters R-I when we were talking about Ralph. Ralph did it. It turns into Ralph insulting the doctor's fiance, Amanda, back home in Rhode Island. And obviously get pissed off at each other and go their separate ways. And I told you Ralph has friends around town. He puts an ad in the paper telling the whole city of Charleston what he thinks of the doctor. Kind of a you're a disgrace to society kind of mentality. The cameras, um, so Nora, just so you know, the biggest orb I've ever caught, ever. What do I look like? So it's gonna fit with the camera and your Do beep 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 <laughs> Anne. 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 What color was your hair? Anne, if if I was to invite myself over for dinner, what would you make us? Anne, which husband did you like the best? Who was the best in bed? Anne, was it really a pirate's life for you? Branch. Oh, branch. Branch, you don't branch. say. Look at the branch. Anne, I'm thinking of a number, one through ten, Anne, what is it? Oh, I just got something over here. Oh, it's my shadow. That's cool. Anne, can you do this? Anne, do that little jingle. Do it. Anne, can you do this? What was the name of your dad? Who, what was your dad's name? 
and that I didn't go eat your baby. <laughs> Tell me, Anne. Don't make the catch get kicked in the sand. <laughs> I'll do it. Give me the name. Give me the name of your dad now. Anne? Ooh, there's. A sh it's weird because it's the shadow. It's nothing more. Nothing more, nothing less. Anne, I'm thinking of a number. St. Philip's Church teacher. Who parks here? <laughs> Glenda. She's the bookkeeper. <laughs> okay. Name and pair. Ooh, mistress. I want to know about mistress. Ooh, mistress. And did you get along with your dad's mistress? And what was her name? What was the name of your dad's mistress? You don't have to hide her identity anymore. Tell me. And Tell me now. It's just me and Brittany. We're cool. And we're cool. We're cool girls. We are cool girls. Did you manage your feelings well when your dad was having an affair on your mom? Mm -mm. Look at this. This is kind of weird. Oh, yeah. Do do bam 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 Going underwater. <laughs> detailed. Very detailed. detailed. No, you have given me zero details. I want to know your dad's name. I want to know what are we at? And what point four? Oh, point one. Okay. It has been zero. Yeah. Maybe if you see it a little disrespectful the spirits, maybe they will. We're not going to be disrespectful. We I mean, ultimately... We respect... <laughs> actually, the has up. <laughs> hey, come over here, Jen. There's like a little window right here. Okay, <laughs> You've been shot by, you've been shot by, a smooth coming out. <laughs> 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 light. Look at the light. <gasps> oh, Don't you asked her what ca uh, color hair she had. Okay, it's light. Okay. All right, that's so a little like unassuming. Blonde. You did ask her that question. Light, light hair color. She said, "I have a lot. okay. I think that's there's, there's there could be something sing, there." Sing. You like to sing? I'm not much of a singer. More of a dancer. More of a dancer. <laughs> <laughs> Brittany, I love how you're making this about you. <laughs> well, it's like we're having a conversation here, okay? <laughs> sing? No, I don't sing much. <laughs> You? More of an answer. Can you sing me a song? No, she's telling you to sing. <laughs> so you need to sing. <laughs> Go ahead. Sing her the song that you wrote. 
<laughs> you know, you know the one that you wrote on the way here. <laughs> Baby at. There's a debate on the mistress. Yes. Where'd that baby at, Anne? You got that baby? Who did your baby end up becoming? Was it Jack Sparrow? <laughs> Have you ever been to J.D. Jones's locker? Too much. We we asked her what color her hair was, yeah, and we got light. light. Oh. And then she know. told Brittany to sing, <laughs> so she did. Are you singing like a sea shanty? Yeah, it was it actually going. really good. <laughs> yeah. Just so we got debate, seeing light, detailed, disregard, managing. Yeah, a bunch of big shit, right? Yeah. Hey, your list sucks tonight. I'm just gonna put it out there. Sometimes the thing will give me like 40, 50 terms that are all relevant, and then there's other nights I get like one. So, well, never know. Tonight's aesthetic. Yeah, it's the night <laughs> aesthetic. Did you get something, Brett? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. We got, oh, we got the lot of numbers. Oh. You don't even want to know what I got. Blowing your mind. Song. I want to give Dave another minute because he just got it. Emily, you got anything coming up? It could just be me. You want to switch? I mean. Uh, I, I, I don't care at all. I just. Maybe the ghosts don't want to talk to me. Really? It's your spirit. Oh my God. Press the mute button. And why would you, you take, press it? Hmm? Did you take cat? Press the mute button. Here, and why would you press it? it? That's just the mute. Okay. So like, and then there's your kitty cat. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. And a kitty, 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 kitty. 
<laughs> Brendan. Brendan? Yeah. That's Brendan the cat. <laughs> that's Brendan. No, uh, that's Jackie, actually. Oh. oh. I, his, well, her name used to be Jack, and then yeah. I seen she was pregnant, so I changed it to Jackie. Oh. That's his church music way. Oh, wow. Right. Well, one of the kittens oh gosh, are going to be named Brendan. I'm going to call them my. Getting a lot of names on this thing. Uh, here's a deciding factor. I say we wrap this one up. Not a whole lot's going on. You guys want to look at that, right? Yeah. 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 No EMF going on? No. Right, let's go over to the wall. I'll explain the next phase of where we're going. Oh, Brendan's valley. Tablespoon? What do you do? Just a spoon? You're just looking for figures. Like you're looking and you're deciphering like tablespoon. You've got to come up to me and you're talking. It's just a spoon. Alright, so a couple of things about this space. Uh, remember I gave that heated warning at the top of the night? This, this space is one of those reasons why. So about a year and a half ago in the month of September, I brought my group to the back like I always do, like the same size group, eight, nine, ten people. The kid next to me literally starts to faint. Like he goes white as a ghost, he's dropping like a wet noodle, right? So when I say kid, he's like 22. So I have to pick this guy up by his armpit so he doesn't hit his head on the ground. His boyfriend picked him up from the other side of him. We brought him over here to the wall so he can sit down, got him some water, he was feeling better. I then told him the story of Ann Bonnie that I already told you. And then I spread everybody out, because this used to be the last stop. But we still have one more space to go. Nora, you can give your camera a break. Um, um, but anyway, yeah. Yeah, Jackie, she'll, she's pretty friendly, just so you know. She won't scratch your bike. She's just trying to feel you guys out. But anyway, um, I spread everybody out, but these two guys pull me aside and say, Nick, we have to tell you something. I'm like, well, what's going on? We are two transgender males. I have two females, dressed like males. Just like Anne and Mary in the story, on the tour. So, it made sense, but it's still unexplained. A lot of you guys have been asking me questions all night long. Those are, that's the kind of weird shit that I see. And I can't explain it, but it does make sense as to why it actually occurred. Month of September here in South Carolina does not feel like this, just so you know. Like it is high 60s to you know mid 60s. Like it's comfortable. So again, there was no reason for this kid to pass out. So take that for it. Once I go over the answers from Aunt and Bonnie, I'll explain the next location. Uh, just know like we are going to be doing the Estes method. Is anybody familiar with that? <laughs> so apparently they are um, so I'll explain what that is in just a moment I'm glad, I'm glad you guys kind of switched things up a little bit so we'll kind of see how things go uh, with the next location um, so first picture I show you is of Ann Bonnie uh, this is one of the few pictures you can find of Ann where she actually has a shirt on the reason why is because she used to bare breast to show men that they were just killed by a woman if you remember the clothes that she's wearing it's male pirate garb so again I get a lot of teenage boys on this tour and I don't need angry moms leaving, if that makes sense. That's why I show you this picture. Obviously her hair color is red, not black. Although we did hear the word black and we do get that here all the time. I'll explain it in just a moment. But the names of her parents were William Cormack. We did get Bill, the name Bill. Bill. Yep. I was getting to it. Don't beat me to the damn punch. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> William Cormack, Mary Brennan. This was not another word trick that I was playing on you because we have two Marys in the story. So Mary Reed was the friend slash lover, Mary Brennan used to be a servant for the Cormac family. Can you imagine how the father met her? Mm. Take it for what it is. That's a whole nother 30 minute scandal we don't need to get into. Calico Jack, let me show you what he looked like because everybody wants to see what they based Johnny Depp off of. Calico Jack was named that because of the jackets that he wore. These jackets came from British captains that he killed. So his father was a tailor, which means textiles were very important to the Rackham family. And Calico Jack translates to fancy jacket. That's where the name comes from. The name of his ship was called the Kingston. I do not expect the word Kingston to come out of any spirit box or word list aside from the one that Jody's holding right now because it picks up more disembodied voices than any other device that I have. So the word King would actually suffice in this location. So if you got the word King when you were asking that question, what color is a big red barn? Like, I'm good with it because that's the direct answer. So the Estes method. Oh, the name of the city where Anne grew up was Cork, Ireland. And I've already told you that her hair color was red. So there's all of your answers. Did anybody ask anything else like going rogue? He got Brendan, right? I did get Brent. Well, Brendan. Yeah, Brendan. Not Brennan, but close. So, it is close, and it could be a misinterpretation because the name Brennan is probably not going to be in that dictionary. So, again, it's only got 9,000 words in it. Anybody else ask anything, Rogue, between the two of you? Yes, I asked what happened to the baby. Yeah, I okay. Mom. So the word black shows up here all the time because black beer does have history here in Charleston, so I'll be looking for any other clues that link to that. 
basically he had a raid on Charleston looking for medicine because he had syphilis from one of his 14 wives. Mm -hmm. So again, there is a whole big thing that goes on with the whole Blackbeard piece, but the word black by itself doesn't mean anything until we find a secondary clue, right? So he has this method. What the hell does that mean? So I'm basically going to be taking Chloe and I'm going to be blindfolding her. And I'm going to be putting noise canceling headphones over top of her spirit box. Um, so that way she doesn't, she can't hear me. I'm going to be asking her questions as if she were the ghost. So the cool thing is, there's a secondary part to this. I'm going to take Jody, because she now has a device um, that is going to be irrelevant at that space because we're going to be working as a group. So you're going to be wearing a viewfinder, like a, um, like a virtual reality over your eyes. And my phone's going to be in there creating images, AI images, based on the magnetometer of my phone. So basically, just like the EMF readings that Jen's getting on her device, my phone is going to be doing readings but interpreting that into photographs. So what that's going to happen is it's, you're going to be hearing what I'm saying, but you're not going to know why the questions are relevant because the two of you are going to be sitting on the bench and I'm going to teach everybody else the history. So you two are literally going in blinded for knowledge and blind in general. So you're going to be telling me what images you're seeing and you're going to be telling me literally everything that you're hearing in real time. So I'm going to explain a lot more about this as we get over there. But again, even for us collectively watching this as a group, we're obviously going to be filming this so you guys can watch it later. Um, and we're particularly going to be filming it with your particular camera because it will not have the stickman figure in the way and those kind of things. Give us the clearest picture. Uh, welcome to a Friday night, everybody. Mm. Um, but yeah, we're going to be heading up to a nice dark park. And for us you know, bystanders, you guys have a spirit box as well. So you guys are going to be kind of whispering. So Kate and Dave. You guys are going to be whispering to me what you guys are hearing on that as I'm trying to talk to Chloe as if she were the ghost. So does that make sense to everybody? Mm -hmm. I don't want them knowing anything. So I say we get the hell away from these assholes over here and let's go up two and a half blocks and go up to this night dark park and blindfold some people. How's that okay. sound? Sounds, Sounds like good. Time, right? Sounds yeah. good. All right. Jerry, you up for this? Yeah, can we take the cat? Go so follow. It actually belongs to the church. So. It's actually a very... Wait, she just had kittens uh, probably about a month ago. She came by very pregnant at the beginning of the summer and then all of a sudden blood her. So I don't know where she went. Kitty babies everywhere. I'm actually ashamed for a little cat. Oh, we can have you. Look at indoor. Oh, an outdoor cat, actually. Oh, 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 oh. Snakes and yeah. Tucker is yeah. quite a bit of it. Yeah. She's doing snakes. We're going to need a hot shower when we get back. Ooh. 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 I'm looking forward to that thing. I'm drunk in this time. <laughs> I'm very thankful for that. Oh, how cool. I wish I had a um, I'm very thankful for the um, body armor. Yeah, to help out. Yo. I got way too drunk. Same. Same case. <laughs> I mean, we were vibing over. That was. That was. We were not vibing. No, no. But it ended beautifully. It was a wonderful journey. I appreciated it. <laughs> Made it full circle. It really did. It really did. We ended where we needed to. It's like, I really don't give a shit when you believe in. I just love you. It was just funny, though, that that triggered you so hard. It really was. That's why I had to follow up. Because it did. What? Because I've watched people like do it before, like you feel really weird after. Oh, really? You know when I was sitting over there, I really feel like I was going to die. That when I was sitting over there. Oh, gosh. Goodness. 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 No, but I didn't. <laughs> you know what? You knew. Nah. -uh. I'm, I'm surprised when you both haven't given me a bloody nose yet. Have you, have you done a lot of these before? No, not really. I just watch a lot of people do them. Yeah. Yeah, so I have 
she had to change out that. Yeah. <laughs> Missy? This one right here. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> yep. Yep. I hope you see that back to us. I was sitting like filming this all right now. We're literally doing that same joke though. Like minutes of that. So did we hear anything weird, see anything along the way? Amelia, as we were passing the cemetery. So now I gotta look at the cemetery records to see if there's any way. distracting to you because we chit-chatted the whole day here. Alright, so here's how this is going to go. I'm going to give you guys a bunch of gear. The only thing I'm going to ask is you do not put it on until we come back over. Again, it looks very weird when I'm blindfolding. You guys can do that as actually pretty bad. Oh. Um, when I'm blindfolding people in the middle of the dark park, especially two young ladies sitting here on a bench all by themselves. Um, so uh, <laughs> we're literally going to be like 10 feet away, like over there by the um, on your this is going to go to you, so just kind of hang on to it for now, that's your virtual okay. camera. You want me to turn these all the way up? Well, I don't want you to do anything until I give you direction. So, um, Nora will be helping you put these on, because I'm never going to touch you. So, yeah. you, once you're blindfolded, she'll keep putting that on you when we come back. Um, I'm also going to give you a disposable blindfold, so I don't want that back either. You can keep your own eye boogers, just like your earwax. If you can't figure that out on how to open it, just help, help you out when I get back. Um, so, I'm going to go teach them the history of this space. Where did that gentleman go? Right there. Okay. Wait, over here. Somewhere over there. Okay, is he the pet? Um, I think he was having me. Okay. Oh, no. Yeah, definitely do not put that gear on until we come back. We're literally going to be right there. So yeah. Okay. Um, yeah, this can be a very. It's Friday night. We'll just put that yeah. mm -hmm. Is it Friday? Yeah. No, it's Saturday. 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 Really? I guess like, it is. Holy oh, shit. Like, Friday plus. Yeah. Is it really? Yeah. Friday plus. Oh, we have another day. I know. <laughs> you were faking us out. You guys can show besties for five minutes. We'll be right back. Let's all go this way. Decompose. That's what I got right now. Woods. Particle. Smart. Rear. Pendant. Wound. Nerve. Goodness. Wound is Halo. Oh, okay. So, the first time I came in here, I had no idea what the hell you're fine. Hey, it's doing that thing. I love it. Do you want me to hold your backpack, though? So yeah. you don't have to carry it while you're talking? Nope. Okay. You need a voice recorder right here, so they have the history later on. No matter how many times they ask me, I'm not going to be giving them the history, um, you know, afterwards. So they're going to have to rely on you guys to find out if it was actually relevant or not. Um, okay. I think she's taking an art for photographs. Oh, okay. <laughs> and become famous one day. Um, but anyway, so the first time I came in here, remember, this is the new space. I don't know everything about what we're going to be talking about. So I only had two people. After every Halloween is when I start researching the next new location. So it's November. It's cold. Everybody canceled except for one couple. The young lady was using the red spirit box, just like Kate is, and she heard the name Henry when we walked in here in the year 1828. I was using the digital word list Brittany has. I had the name Tim that showed up. That bust staring at us is Henry Timrod, born in 1828, and I'm not okay. shooting you. And I was like, well, hot damn, there's my ghost. Mm -hmm. So here's how this goes. And again, there's a lot of like little busts and monuments in here, so I didn't know what we were going to find. What you guys need to know about Henry is he was a writer, and he was sick through most of his life. Being born in 1828, he goes out to fight on the battlefield for the Civil War for the Confederates. He's from Charleston, obviously the South. He goes out there, and his comrades realize he's too sick to fight. So they said, go home, be the voice of the war. He's, he's a writer. They wanted him to write poetry about what was going on out there. That's exactly what he did. Came home, he's writing poetry. He becomes known as the Laureate of the Confederacy. It's a pretty prestigious title for us writers. In case you're wondering what the hell a Laureate is. Laureate in the tile? Oh, I don't know. I, I feel like we read that in a tile. Like the, the same word, Laureate. In, the t in like a... It may have been over at the Charleston Library Society where his collection is being held. Okay, cool. So if you did see it, that's probably where you saw it. Cool. Um, but anyway, so a few years goes by after he's writing all this poetry, and he has a son. The son's name is Willie. He was born on Christmas Eve and dies nine months later. It's very tragic for him and his wife, Katie. So, sorry, your name pops up again. Um, <laughs> even though we had it on the list earlier. But a few more years goes by, and his college friend, another writer from Charleston, his name is Paul, he sees that 
he's not writing as much as what he's supposed to. He says, go out to my cottage in Columbia. It's in the middle of the state. Go finish working on the piece you're supposed to be working on because Henry works for a newspaper. So, and then you can leave Katie behind with her parents to mourn with them. So he goes out there and he wrote his last words. His last words were, beholder of brief mortality, which means person with a short life. And then he coughs and it lands on the page in a blood stain. He had tuberculosis. Mm -hmm. So, however, and he died right there on the page. That tuberculosis blood stain looks like a man writing at his desk. So we call it the blood book here in Charleston, and it is shown at the Library Society one day a year on Halloween, but you have to be a member to be able to go see it. However, internet's oh. beautiful. I'm going to show you what the page looks like, and then we're going to go talk to Miss Chloe as if she were Henry Timrod. So, Ooh. yes, exactly. It's very busy in here. Now that, you know, Dave reminded me that it's not Friday. So, this is the blood book. You can see where the blood stain looks just like a man oh, writing at his mm -hmm. desk. Goodness. Zoom in on it so you can actually see it. So, no, I know you're pretty far away. But this, to that me, page is the earlier. whole story. Person of short life, cough, cough, death, blood stain looks like his marking. So, again, take that for what it's worth. Kind of a good, creepy story for us to end with. Um, have you, when, when we get over there, we are going to stay pretty close to the lady. So, while they're sitting there, we're going to be just this tight around them. I don't want other tourists seeing them, what, they're, what I'm doing over there. So, they're going to keep peering and whatever, but it does look weird when we're just blindfolding people. Mm. You guys are obviously ghost hunters for the night. You guys get it. Mm. Um, we're also going to be filming, so Nora, you're going to be the, the you're going to keep your camera on them the entire time. Um, I'm only going to keep them under for 10 minutes. You're going to definitely keep an eye on your word list, and we have gotten triple digit readings from your device during these sessions. All the way up to 167 is the highest reading at this location so far. Cool. So again, you're going to def definitely like let me know what's going on. Um, as far as your spirit box that you guys are listening to, if you want to do that together, um, you know, just kind of whisper over to me like what you're hearing and we'll see if it's actually relevant. So keep in mind, you want to pay attention to the notes that I'm going to be giving them of what to expect so you know how this is supposed to go down. So again, they're only going to be under for 10 minutes. That's it. I'll explain why once we get over there. Let's go talk to a coach. You guys ready for this? Yeah, I want to. Hey. Ready? Need help? No, these are still And that's the thing. Yep, 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 yep. So, a couple of things. We're going to start off with you, We're going to stay pretty close knit around you so nobody can see what the hell we have going on over here. Um, again, kind of a weird thing, but you're literally going to be telling us everything you're hearing from the spirit box in real time. When you put those ear muffs on, or when Nora puts them over your ears, that's when we begin. You're only going to stay under for 10 minutes. Cool. Two things you're going to need to remember is that when we're done, Nora's going to tap you on the leg. That means we're done. Cool. So I do keep an eye on your breathing. So if things go a little awry, she's going to tap you on the leg, and she's going to help you take the ear off. Otherwise, if, it's, if you're okay, just start taking it off by yourself. If you're talking too loud, she's going to tap you on the shoulder. That means just quiet down a little bit. If you're not talking loud enough, she may raise your earmuff and say a little louder, mm -hmm. just keeping it nice and simple. Mm -hmm. Again, remember to talk. It's also okay to answer in yes, no questions. You have no idea what I'm asking. I might ask for a ghost if I'm wearing a gray shirt. Mm -hmm. I'm expecting a yes, sure. if that makes sense. So if I hear radio stations or just like random anything I say? I want you to tell me everything that you're hearing. Oh, okay. Everything. Radio stations, commercials, song lyrics, whatever it is. Um, just keep in mind, we do have neighbors behind us, so if we're shouting, it's not going to be good. We're going to tap you on that shoulder. Jody, with yours, my phone's going to be in there, and it's going to it's going to look like gray smoke. Have you ever used a virtual reality cam before? Mm -hmm. Okay, so I'll set it up, um, and you're just going to see gray smoke. So whatever's not gray smoke, you're just going to give me these very quick, easy descriptions of it. Um, so if you see, you know, ten people sitting in a park with a tree and a bench, say ten people, tree, bench. Very simple. Keep it nice and simple because I'm going to want to focus on her for whatever messaging that she's giving us. Go ahead and hand that over to me, and I'll fix it for you. So this is two five. You can buy these in bulk on Amazon if anybody's wondering about blindfolds. So it's a Batman mask now. So it's not going to go all the way around your head. Oh, how cool and red is that, right? Um, so, once also, Chloe, you get under and you got the earbuds in, find a comfortable volume because you're not going to be touching your spirit box for the entire duration because we want to make sure you're not cheating. Does that make sense? If my wife starts to send you dirty pictures, Jody, do not describe them. Well, go ahead and describe them. <laughs> Probably don't here. We can have a good time. Come on. We start like that. <laughs> Alright. So, you guys kind of all understand why.
why we're doing it this way. They're left in the dark. They don't know jack shit. Yeah. Perfect. So this either turns out really good or really bad. We're either going to get really silly answers out of Chloe or really good, solid answers of a full conversation between us and our ghost. So that's the hope. So Nora, can you pass off your camera for just a second and help her with those earmuffs and just slide them over her ears? Do you want me to go right away? Yeah, as soon as, as, soon okay. as you start hearing things, start talking. Okay. Can you hear me now? Yeah. Can you hear me now? Can you hear me now? Try. Water will and moonshine. Okay. We're on it. Invisible. And that's... Can I see your viewpoint? Pop this in there, you're going to slide this over your head, and you're going to tell us everything that you're seeing, because it is already running. Do I just sit here, though? Mm -hmm. Yep, yeah, we're not going to be moving around. Okay, Nothing's going to jump out at you. There is a focus point up here in the center. Like, where it runs happening, you see that? Um, that? Yeah, I see, like, like two girls oh, in a, like, it looks like a, like a park. In a park. Look at that. Or, um, yeah, like a field. Let's make a half move. They're almost like holding hands. They're wearing like smocks. Look. Um, one of them has like okay. long hair. Well, both of them have long hair. One has longer hair than the other. Okay, so we got two girls possibly holding hands in a park. Yeah. Um, so far, the only thing that stood out to me that Chloe has said so far is the word book, and I haven't even asked a damn question yet. We all know that we're dealing with a writer. So. Henry Timrod, I need you to really push through, and you can give us visuals. This is Jody. She can see no. what she wants to see. Henry, don't be stubborn. I know it's a busy night. I know you don't like crowds. Can you prove to us that New you're Jersey. here? Is somebody here from Jersey? Church music. I need you to One push through and check. tell us your occupation, please. Four life. Health problems. Did have health problems. What kind of health problems did you have, Henry? Probably. Not back in the 1800s. They wouldn't give him oxygen. Right, probably. Probably did, but they're not going to yeah. give it to him. This rock music looks like rich uh, music. taking pictures of her with this crazy contraption on her head. Seriously, I thought all three of you would have your damn phones out. I, listen, I'm <laughs> in. We, I, I am in there. Yes. Children of a different generation. Letters are easy. Tell us what kind of sickness you had. You've already told us health problems. Can you tell City. us what that refers to? Discover. Tell us about the plant that's in the picture. What does that mean? Okay. I'm right. seeing a lot of like um, red and pink and like tragic. It's almost like abstract art. Some of it's coming into focus. Four minutes total. Henry, I would really like to have a conversation with you, but you got to start by telling me a few very specific details. Occupation. Red. Your wife's name. That would work as well. New truck. 
10, right? Really? Really push the Just say will. Morning. Do you want to talk about your son, Willie? On set. Wake up. Conversation. Henry, we're asking a lot of questions because a lot of weird clues are coming through. You need to be very specific. Don't help me. Very specific. Do you want to tell us about the war that you fought in? That's a yes no question. Street. Tell us about the war you fought in, Henry. Podcast. Bring me to my knees. Jody, you Just, okay like piano yeah. music playing. Crime. talking to him because every time you do, like, no, I, I get, it, it's almost like it's like staring in on something, she but then I, you. no, I'm no, she, she's asking me to do yeah. it, oh, okay. Henry, can you show us some visuals of things about your life, I asked about the war, I asked mm -hmm. about your wife, I asked about your son, Is anybody else, like, I am soaking wet all the time, like, very, very hot, okay. offer up, Henry, you need to push through for us. I asked about your your wife, your son, your occupation. Solution. Which no joke, the temperature is actually rising. Stop. Like, it's 83 degrees. It's been running about 80, 81. It's 83.1. I just feel like I'm melting. Over here. And hot. I'm just, I don't even, it's just got the word hot. Mm. What about hot? Riding. Hi. Tim, oh, can you okay. really so, push through for us and give us some terms that we know that you're here? Someone else. Somebody else want to ask a question? You guys kind of know his history. Stop. It's a very good question. We do get another slip here every once in a while. Who are you? To, got the word stop twice, just so you guys know. Henry, do you want us to stop? That's a yes, no answer. Why? have somebody else here with us, along with Henry? Jesus. Oh, wow. <laughs> Henry, who else is here with you? Hi. Give us their first name, please. What happened? I think somebody else might be here with you. Oh, I'm getting an image. Oh, my God. Dr. Ladd, are you here with us? Dr. Ladd, are you here with us? Do you have 
know it. take a look at these images real quick and then you're, these will also be in your data set tomorrow so you're going to get all these uh, images back. Did mine make any sense? Um, so I think that Dr. Ladd was here with us and not the person we were actually seeking out. So let's look at the images and then I'll explain. So this is obviously the two girls holding hands. I can't put this sideways it just doesn't orientate. Again AI imaging. I can't make this stuff up. These images have never been generated before. What, this is what you saw first? Mm -hmm. That's the first thing she saw. And I deleted all of the other images that were from the previous nights. Um, this looks like some type of acorn. Mm, I did see that. So honestly, I thought it was like a screensaver that I was. Yeah. Did see acorn. Yeah, kind of take that for what it's worth. I mean, I don't know what this means. Again, I don't those know. Are, those are generated from what? The magnetometer on the phone, so it's kind of interpreting it into an AI image. There's another plant, but it looks dead. So. The fun thing is, is with the way Google Lens works these days, I could take that photo and Google Lens it to see the type of plant it is and see if it's relevant to any type of medicine or anything like that. Um, so again, it's very interesting how I can take some of these images and see what it actually means. This is definitely some kind of medical operating table. So this is, might be another clue that Dr. Ladd was here. Um, we do get a lot of bloody images here, like a lot, just so you know. Um, you guys obviously know why, but the two of you on the bench do not. Uh, but again, this could be relevant to Dr. Ladd was here. This is kind of a creepy face, for sure. Mm -hmm. There's a bunch of razor blades coming out of this guy, all kinds of stuff. Oh. So a bunch of crazy talons. Like, this is not a happy type of face. So the funny thing is, is I think she, she said the word Jesus not but a minute or two beforehand, yeah. and then we get this answer. So it's kind of a... Mm -hmm. I heard a lot of church music yeah. always playing. And the beautiful horse in the forest. Mm -hmm. So, again, Ooh. definitely... And again, you, these things come up much clearer on a computer too. So when you guys get them back, like you'll be able to see, like I'll look for, I'll see some kind of small detail like that we missed in real time kind of thing. Um, yeah, and that was the last thing that was generated. Dr. Ladd, here's why he loves to creep in. That house I told you about, 59 Church Street where he lived, 0.3 miles this way, literally. Like we can walk there within two and a half minutes. Like that's how close it is. So every once in a while, we get him creeping in if I use this bench. Now if I use the other bench, there's another uh, person like monument over there where things start to creep in for her it just depends on which bench I use so again it's a matter of like in proximity kind of like that bleed over we talked about earlier but the word whistling we got that came up um, any other crazy terms Brittany because if we don't get them here from Chloe they usually come out of you roll steer head hide relics clearly uh, steer the head thing makes if you look at that as a phrase almost relates to the horse that you saw mm. steer the head Ring, oxygen. What kind of rain? Ring, and then the next one was R-E, or re. So clearly. was it rain like weather rain? Like a... Or was it rain as in... Oh, ring. Like ring. a ring. Got it. Okay, so do I feel like this was relevant? Slightly. I'm not like super excited about the things that we got out of Chloe. I only have a three-tier system that I use for this. Either it was completely successful or more questions were answered directly. Um, less than that is going to be slightly successful or nothing happened. Um, I feel like we had some things that were correlated with the doctor pieces and you guys started to piece that together. Um, and the fact that we had the word shot and you said the word right three different times. So again, I don't know. most people don't. That's why we're telling you. So I kind of keep track when I hear the same word being repetitive. Um, take that for what it's worth. We got the entire thing on film. Um, again, I don't know how relevant the word list is going to be until I get back to the office. Um, but that would be why the doctor piece would be relevant here. You two obviously aren't going to know why. The rest of us, why we're all here until you guys get your audio piece history back. Because 
again. I'm not going to repeat the whole same story over again, um, but it'll make more sense. Just know, you know, we are working with a writer that, you know, uh, died of tuberculosis. And from the beginning, I think you said the word book along with something as everybody was still getting geared up. So, again, I was excited about that. I thought we were really going to have something going on with uh, Henry Timrod, but apparently we had more Dr. Ladd clues than we did anything else. So, as I start collecting all of your devices, you guys can ask me a million questions if you'd like, and then, of course, I can steer you back to wherever you need to go. I think some of you are already asking me for directions to begin with. Um, so, how do you guys feel, by the way? You guys okay? Yeah. Okay. I don't know. My arm was, like, tingling during you it. You kept going over. Like, I noticed that. And then, you kind of, like, I don't think I've ever seen anybody hunch over. Um, I have had people, like, hyperventilate, where we've had to pull them out pretty quickly, um, and that's happened twice. So, um, and both times, it was a young person, or to say it was a mind. So... I was kind of worried about putting you under, but you did fine. So I was watching your breathing. You did take a couple of very big breaths, but you did okay. So I wasn't truly worried about you. Um, of course, she didn't scream at me either, but she hasn't really said much all night long anyway. So. <laughs> well, thank you so much. You're welcome. Yeah, that was fun. We appreciate you. So, different than other ghost tours that you guys have taken? Yeah, definitely. Okay, well, yeah. <laughs> Where are we at? I think we have to just seriously just walk straight back. Is this meeting? I feel like it's meeting. The first text was, uh, what are you and your hoes doing tonight? And then he edited it. He said, what are you and your fine foursome up to tonight? Oh, so it edited that what he said? What? He edited the text. He, um, but I seen it first before he edited it. I've never seen that. So you can edit a text these days. You can delete it. Like, you can edit it. The whole deal. But it'll say, like, this text is edited. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Edited. Right there. Other devices, they're passing them down. Let's see if we can oh. get it. Yeah, uh, see how many terms you guys got out of this. So 118. The average is 75 to 95. So you guys know. Oh. So a lot there. How many days do you do? Sorry, thank you. Uh, seven. One every night. Yes, I'm out here seven nights a week unless it's raining. Yeah. Or a major holiday. I take holidays off because I can't. <laughs> so. <laughs> no,